Okay. Let's find the video. It's a fun game we like to play. For well, half past four dads and feet up like this. Oh, no, wrong one. Okay, I'm just sharing in the Creative Family Group, July Cross Class Group. This one. Not having much success now. You're not having any success? No. I'm just trying to press play on my video. Oh, there we go. Hello, Diana. Hello, Raquel. Hello, Mary. I'm trying to press play. Wouldn't <laughs> let me press play. I'll okay. get there eventually, people. This might be next year. So, hello, Karen. How are you? Um, I can't remember their names. I met a lovely couple from Maribora today. Absolutely lovely. Um, so, we're using a day to remember today. <clears throat> and let's go through the papers. So this is paper one. This is sort of the colour Quentin Moore on our wedding day. This is kind of colours from our wedding. And then paper two. And it's got horses. Some of the colours from our wedding. Not enough peach. There needs to be more peach. Paper three. Paper four, love this piece of paper, and I love—I don't like green, but I love this glitter. And paper five, I've cut out probably nearly a dozen sheets of this. And then paper six, I've cut out a heap of this one too. Is that your favourite piece, the um... quatrefoil? Yes, quatrefoil is my favourite piece. I love that piece of paper. It's one of my favourite all-time pieces of paper. <clears throat> and then I've got like flare buttons and colour cuts, bin sequin mix. Um, That's too, too cute, bin sequin why mix. Why can't we revisit the day to remember this week? Uh, why did we do day to remember? Huh? I can't lip read you because you've got a list. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's really hard to lip read someone with a list, just so you all know. If you're, if you're into learning the lip read, don't learn to lip read a, someone with a list. Write on a piece of paper. Oh, oh yes, I oh, know. It's here. I'm going to show that in a second. Uh, hello, Gail and Rosemary, Joanne, Lee, D, who should be back in Australia, Chloe, Pam, Karen. Green paper four is stunning. I know you love green, Karen. You're my 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 super green fan. Um, hello, Deborah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a little fun and games around here, hey dear. Hello, Michelle. How are you? So I've got lots of horses and lots of things, and then I've got some rice papers, some embellums from a day to remember. So we actually had. A day to remember colour cuts for like nearly three years or well, two years for two years before we did the product. Um, Pussy Cut Essentials. Pussy Cut Essentials is something that I love doing and they're my thing. Never seen anyone do these before. Well, people actually do do them now. There are copies of them now, but. Not seen anyone do what we do. And then some more. So these are the islands. So don't ask. Just off on a tangent here with purple. Off on a purple tangent because I've been picking extras orders for the Snow Princess virtual retreat that's coming up in two weeks' time. And, yeah, there's a little bit of purple in that. So what I wanted to do tonight was use some Snow Princess with it. Yes. 
but I don't know which bit. So I'm going to show you the Snow Princess papers. These come out in two weeks. You can pre-order a paper pack for these right for this right now. So we have um, hello, Fiona and Trish. So happy to be home. Happy to have you back in Australia, D. Hello, Debbie. We're all great, Debbie. Hopefully you're great too. Hello, Jacqueline and Cheryl. So that's paper one. These are not in order, and that is my fault. I grabbed these ones. And then we have paper two. So this is Snow Princess for in two weeks' time. And then we've got paper three. Pretty butterflies. Why is that? And then we have paper four. Everybody knows what technique I'm going to do with this castle, don't they? Really? And then we have paper five. Love, love, love. And then we have paper six. So with the fussy cuts, we've got a purple page, a teal page, and a blue page. So you can mix them together or do them separate. So I don't know what I'm going to use from that, but I want to use something from that with my a day to remember. What am I going to use from this? I need to do a page. I do like the green. I do like this timber. I use it a lot. I could use purple with the timber. Oh, I do teal and purple. Oh, that's pretty. It's maybe a bit wild. Matter, no? uh, Karen Allen has mentioned that the Snow Princess paper will be the perfect, um, will be perfect for the dry sketch challenge. Listeners. I wonder why. Mel's the green, you know, that was not intentional on the design factor with me. <laughs> it wasn't with you, but it was with me with the colours. Hello, Mel, how are you? Glad I you know, are. I love the paper. I'm loving. So I'm loving this piece and this piece and I really love the butterflies and I'm not a blue fan but I do like this blue, it's grey blue and I like the background on this one and I really like that. I don't mind that, but yeah. Oh, I love, I really, really love, the ones I really love, love, love are these three. Yeah. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm just going to answer questions. Such a beautiful collection it is. Hello, Debbie. How are you? It is a beautiful collection. It is beautiful. I love it. It'll be perfect for, yes, July. 
pull out the pipe collection. Graham, okay. Yes. Um, hello, Beck. Hello, Marie. They are beautiful. They are just beautiful. That's okay, Debbie. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. School holidays are finished. Bit of a yay moment there. No, it's okay. Um, I really like this. And I really like this. Let's have a look at what they're going to Got two of that. They don't. They kind of match, but they don't really. You know. I don't know why I thought of purple. I'd like to do these on a canvas. Nope. 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 Have a look what's in here. I've used a lot of that. Ooh, you all want to know what's happening for the winter scrap next week. She's wearing graphics. Ah, oh, yes. The Hello, Ray. Only halfway in so far. I'm just starting in South Australia. We've had Karen join us, and Debbie has suggested Hello, and Karen. aqua and purple paper. Wood grain, aqua, and purple papers. Oh, and we have Mel W on the two. Oh, hello, Mel. How are you? They just started there. Well, we finished today. I taught my last art class today. Oh, and she was running late, so she just wants to know what's the name of the beautiful collection we were showing. Okay, so, so the one we're doing tonight is using the one we're meant to be using is a day to remember right a day to remember this one i was showing is snow princess and it doesn't come out for two weeks but i'm going to use a piece of snow princess i'm determined quentin said i was allowed well i don't know why he gets to make that decision because i'd be the boss do we want to use these So what do we think? What was it? Wood grain, uh, purple and aqua. Yeah. But yeah, Mel still needs to know what's happening. Oh, next week. I forgot all about it. Before you forget that you um, so it's geeks next weekend. So it's meant to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but we're going to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so what's the point in doing three days and not four? So we're doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so that means we're going to have multiple classes through the day and we'll do a 
nighttime scrap along or card along on Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Not on Sunday night. Sunday night, I'm going to have a break. Um, so, do we tell them the collection? No, we can't tell you collections we're playing with. We haven't done the graphics for that yet. I haven't done the graphics, so Naomi's working on those. I have palmed a lot of stuff off to her. Um, so, we're doing, yes, we're doing um, lots of classes. It is a Gix weekend, but it's meant to be crazy knitted jumper or something is the theme and we just want to warm everyone up so we're going to do a winter warm-up we also have something we're going to try and get to release that's pretty cool well we think it's pretty cool so we'll um we'll get that hopefully organized for next weekend so i think i've got an idea now Right. I think it needs purple. Let's just move all this over here. Oh, and I do have this. So these are new. They are initially a byproduct. Okay. They are initially a byproduct, but it's a byproduct we're now we've been trying to we, we now actually are going to make them they're not live on the website because i don't know if i've got enough to have on the website and putting kits but they're little they're little acrylic dots and they're the biggest pain in the bum and no one else will peel them because they they have paper on both sides after they come out of russell and so you'll get for a dollar because i'm doing them for a dollar you'll get 25 sort of random size there's not going to be the same in every packet. Uh, great to me. I'll have to clear my schedule. <laughs> oh, and hey, Karen. Just joined us on the tube. Yeah. So Karen G is Mel's mum. Yeah, I figured by the You figured that one out when she says, hi, mum. Yeah, and then the, the reply back is, hi, smelly. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, we're going to try and put a schedule out in the next couple of days. We've got to pre-record videos. I've got to pre-record, I think, three this weekend. And I had an idea for one of them, and it's completely slipped my mind. I've been doing so much stuff. Uh, Mel and Karen, you are awesome. Myself and Mum Jill. I have also said hello across the list. Yep, yep, yep. Michelle's mum's great, Jill. I have met both Mel's mum and Michelle's mum before, so which is really awesome. So, yeah. So we've got these, these little guys, the little dots. They're not live yet. I'm just going to I don't know if this is what it was if you had uploaded. It was a definite negative. Well, you know, I'm not always efficient, am I? It's becoming a bundle. <laughs> well... You just, I know. Okay. So I've got a piece of a day to remember number three. Hopefully there's plenty of it left. Should be. I don't know. We sold a lot of a day to remember. Oh, the green there. And I've got a piece of Snow Princess number five. And Snow Princess 5. So number 5, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to get my creative ruler. And due to the popularity of my rulers and templates and things, I have run out of acrylic again. I'll just keep getting it. They do complain a little bit when they have to deliver it. I'm just going to do, I'm going to draw a one inch frame. So I'm coming in an inch. I'm on the back of it. 
I'm coming in an inch all the way around because I want to cut it and sometimes I just hack a hole in the middle and I really want to be scroogey because I want to use the fussy cutting. We're going to use the fussy cutting. I, I want a little bit of this teal and I want some of this to map my photo, maybe. So we're going to do a frame. So this mark here on the crab ruler is an inch from the edge. Uh, we pretty much, with most of the templates, are just about up to orders. If you've ordered a circle set in the last 24 hours, I think, it's, you know, it might not be made yet. Or might be cut but not peeled and quality checked in that. We did have a whole sheet, well, most of a sheet just fruit loop up this week I had an incident so with a heart tilting and getting in the way and then it fruit looped up the rest of the cutting so I'm making the wedge frame as so consistent yeah five So let's use this leaf. So I'm going to use that leaf. This butterfly. Let's use these part flowers here. One. Two. Butterfly here. Some part flowers. Oh, yeah had a good school holiday some good school holiday fun I nearly had a heap of friends in today they did get a bit rowdy but you know the end of the holidays and that's kids it was all happy noise and none of the customers complained we had a store full of customers and no one complained uh, had the best customers we are aiming to have lots of templates at paperific um every time we go okay we're up with the templates let's start making our paperific stuff we do have to go and make more and then we use up our supply we are buying yeah big shipments of it. we are buying a shipment of acrylic every week at the moment. so we've got this probably this bit here maybe photo mats and then is that the top is that the top no I think that's the top what else is going there okay so let's de-stress it's like the man on the ad let's prune <laughs> yeah uh, no and then we're going to de-stress this, but we're going to be really rough. So this is our um, a day to remember piece. And we're going to be quite rough. So that is 12 by 12, isn't it? Yep, we cut this down to 12 by 12 earlier. So we're being, you know, quite rough with it, de-stressing. Uh, if you are going to use scissors, don't use your fussy cutting scissors and probably not your old tough ones. I'll tell you what I do have in the back of my drawer. I can't remember that. Because my kids would never use these. My kids are fussy. A pair of crappy old kids' scissors. You know these? They are great for fussy cutting, for distressing. So these old, just pair of cheap old crappy kids scissors they're not even sharp they are great for distressing um, we do have distressing tools like, great. Um, 
I'd like that big 12 v 12. If you have it, will have you have it will help all my bits and pieces on my layout. Oh, I'd be like, oh, it's a map. Is that what you want? Yep. Okay, so I've. Yeah, four days of crafting next weekend. Um, yes, I will have the the mats. We will have mats as well. Um, craft design boards. We will have them. Oh, did a rip. So I'm being a bit rough and heavy handed with this, and I'm doing that on purpose because we're going to roll it back a bit, and we're going to try and reveal this piece in behind. So they're both the same size currently. So I am starting with them the same size. I'm not going to distress my frame. So I found out this afternoon that Amelia Ann's um, dance concert, her end of year dance recital, is the weekend of her Magical Memories in-store retreat. So that's two weeks after the virtual Magical Memories virtual retreat. So combined they're a hybrid retreat. So a hybrid retreat is... We have a virtual retreat and then two weeks later we're meant to have an in-store retreat. We were having it two weeks before but now we do two weeks later. So I need to move the in-store retreat either forward a week or back a week. But I have actually everyone that is booked into Magical Memories in-store has been um, contacted in a group we've got I just started a bit of a messenger chat this afternoon or this evening just to try and um, ascertain what works it will probably be the people that are traveling that's Re, Lila and Jean who will be the ones that make that get the biggest say in what weekend we actually do because they're traveling and they have accommodation to buy or to pay for so they're the ones that will be um yeah it will be kind of everyone's it's going to be a consensus like we're going to work together as a team of crafters to get a date that works for everyone but we are definitely going to be taking into account those people that are traveling so what i'm doing is i'm just going around and i'm rolling it and i'm folding it and doing little tears and then we're going to test drive it. Do we see enough? It's not bad, is it? Hello, Robin. Hello, Lexi. Yep, I'll definitely have those. But, yes, so um, I don't think it's a decision we're going to make overnight, like what we, we move it to. Because I think we picked that week because it worked best. Because Naomi is going to be 23 at the end of October. So she doesn't have a 21st birthday party. She didn't have a 22nd. So we thought we might try and do something for her birthday. Who's so that going to be for? You or me? What's that? You. We'll do something. No, family. It'll be a family thing. I don't think, you, unless you want Chelsea to come up for the weekend. Would you like to live with Chelsea for a week? Well, we've got a spare bed. Oh, well, depends on if Connor. If Connor's not here, Chelsea can come and stay for a week. Oh, Name is best friend in Brisbane, Chelsea. So. Hello, Chelsea. Chelsea's a fun girl. And I get along really well for good reasons. So we do some photo matting with this one. Do we think we need to add what colour we need to add? Are we going to add colour cuts? Are we going to add... Are we going to add these? I know we've used these in a class before. 
Yes, I can. Look at the little roses, so that'd be quite handy. Let's grab the leaves and roses. Let's use the uh, macrame pack. Macrame. Do the whole circle thing. I think we still need purple. These are runaway princess. Let's leave them there just to see if they grow on us. These ones are, so that's Runaway Princess, and this is Devoted to Denim. I think Runaway Princess. And we've got little dots. So I'm thinking we go with a circle-y thing. What to do is, maybe do a bit of stenciling. Let's do that. I haven't done that for a while. Maybe hearts. Butterflies, flowers, or oh, if we're doing the circular thing, where's the dotty one? This one's called Dotty. Maybe we could do some butterflies and some dots. Hello, Sandra. Definitely Runaway Princess. I think definitely Runaway Princess too. Gee, I really think definitely. I do love Runaway Princess. So, I think in like this cherry colour. I thought we bought a new turquoise recently. But I don't I think I actually got to keep the new turquoise and maybe a little bit of that blue purple. There's a, oh, I've got two cherries. It's interesting. I do have a um, Arpa Marlene one from last year's advent calendar. We'll just wait till Naomi John comes back and then we'll hit her up where the turquoise ink pad is. So we'll do some dots and maybe some butterflies as well. Stencil. And then we're going to use these little acrylic dots and we've got these and we're going to add some flowers. So, here's one I've already started hacking up. Okay, so let's, let's take like a bottom corner here. a bit of a bottom corner and I think that makes the decision making process a lot better when we just oh yep let's just use this bottom corner and it doesn't matter if you edit them as you go it also doesn't matter if you leave a white edge because no one's going to know oh craft a might but Crafter's not gonna, a good crafter's not gonna comment that you've edited the flower. Hey Naomi, yeah. didn't we buy a turquoise ink recently? We did. So do you know where it is? Because uh, I actually haven't seen it since you since we bought it. Also, my Art by Marlene turquoise isn't here. I just wondered. Pardon what? 
I just wondered where it was because I wouldn't mind using it. Um, if you had, oh, well, actually, you guys, not all of you do um, are in the July class subscription group. So if you're looking for more classes from us, we do a monthly class subscription group where each week we have a card making class and a scrapbooking class. So it works out to be eight classes for the month and you either just have to buy a kit for $20 a package of four kits for $60, so you get a discount on your four kits. You basically get um, one kit for free if you buy four kits or um, just $20 for the class subscription, which works out $2.50 a class. Uh, lots of exclusive products in our kits. Have you found it yet? No, that was the sunshine yellow one. It might have... I actually lost. haven't seen it since we bought it. Oh. Since the week we got it. We did have a bit of a landslide with inks the other day. I will look further in detail. I just need to go and get the detail. Oh, the night owl's been staying up a little late lately. But yes, so um, if you, most of you hadn't, some of you hadn't been in the class, Amelia on Tuesday, Amelia Ann went with her friend Arabella and they went to Kubri Park in Yapoon and they did a junior zookeeper day where they learnt how to be um, zookeepers. Went to the butterfly garden. It was so pretty with the plants and butterflies. Oh, that sounds awesome, Dee. Um, but, yes, yeah, so... That was Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, she went to Candy Couture, which is not far from where we live, and she did a junior, like a, a beginner's junior chocolatiers class. So she loved it, that with Kim. So Kim is very patient. Um, but, yeah, so she had a great time. And yesterday she hung out with her friends at their place and the shop for a little bit. And then today she had a heap of friends come in to do an art class. They just all happened to have booked into an art class today. And then, um, yeah, one of her friends stayed while her mum got ready for next week. Teachers got to get ready for teaching, definitely. Noah doesn't go to school on Monday. He's got a pupil free day. But he does have to start uni. Because he's doing um, the SUN program, which is start uni now. So um, he could have done it last semester, but he didn't. Last term, but he didn't. Um, so he's doing a first year music theory subject for a Bachelor of Music. Just to see if he likes it. You pretty excited, mate? Yeah. He's been really excited. He's done orientation week. So he's done O week this week and it's all been online. Um, he did, he met his lecturer and he did a whole heap of stuff. So he's really enjoyed the whole experience so far. No toga parties or anything. I don't know if they do those anymore at I Week. I missed my I Week because I had chicken pox. My first I Week. Unfortunately. Last time I did uni, I think I was, I think I had a retreat on when it was online orientation.
Okay. She's she had a great time, Pam. Um, I've got some more photos to share. I'm going to put some more photos up. But you, I got some photos emailed to me today. Um, lucky um, Laurie got them to email her as well as me because I didn't get the photos from the zoo. But I got them from her when she forwarded them to me. Um, I got all sorts of photos of Amelia Ann at the zoo. And I have to put up my photos from the from making chocolate too. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to be quick here. Sorry, I should have had some fussy cat. I thought I had some fussy cat, but, well, I haven't actually looked. I probably do have some of these fussy cut. I usually always have some done. Oh, Millie put that one in the bin. Do we want the hydrangea? Mm, I don't know. I think we leave the hydrangea. Let's just cut around it. Cut a lot of bits around it. Roughly. Let's leave it there. We might not use it. They painted turtles today, the kids did. They had some awesome turtles. Boys and girls in the class, not just not just girls, boys and girls. We had what did we have? We had one, two, three boys in today's class. Super creative kids. Uh, quite a few were from Amelia and Arabella's grade. Um, and two from grade th one, two, three from grade one, and one preppy. They all did fabulous. Okay, so there are bits. So we've just got to remember that I want to cover the pencil line. So it's okay to edit as you go. I've got to bring home my pages again. Ding, ding, ding. Um, we What's that? No, I don't know either. We still haven't found where our chickens are laying. Um, Connor's been our nephew that's um, living with us at the moment. He's been um, doing a bit of gardening. So um, he loves gardening. He loves his garden. So he um, has a veggie garden at home in Billawila. And he's been doing a bit of gardening here. So, which is good. Uh, the chickens tried to help him and eat his plants. But yes, we still haven't found where the chickens are lying. I think what's today, day seven or day eight? It's getting to the point of problematic. It is becoming problematic. I found the navy. We found the navy. The navy's really not that existent. Right, could you tell me which pieces of paper you're currently fussy cutting from? Because I know that's to do with paper five, and then you've got, you're going to have a custom colour cut by the looks of it. Yeah, we're going to have a custom half pack of colour cuts. 
And then we've got a quarter of a Runaway Princess um, Fussy Cut Essentials. So Fussy Cut Essentials are on this lovely 200 GSM card. So it is French. It is uh, manufactured in France and it is beautiful. Like we print them here, but it is beautiful. Um, I thought, I thought my world had ended because um, the um, printer that I use for rice paper and fussy cut essentials was um, would not work anymore because it needed a software. It needed new software. So what they did was they just made it that it wouldn't actually work anymore. It would no longer function unless I downloaded the new software. And I was really worried. Um, but I am very happy because it's gone back to the finish it was at before the last time they did that to me. <laughs> yeah, I was really concerned. So uh, it has slowed it down. It's a lot slower. Um, really, really slow, which is a pain in the neck. Slowed it down even further because it's already quite slow. But um, I'm happy with the finish. Um, the finish has improved again. And to me, that's what counts. Although speed would be nice. And then, oh, what was my other printing issue this week? Oh, ended up with a faulty cartridge in the one that does the vellums. Bought a cartridge and it was faulty. But that's okay. Lucky I discovered it before it, because um, it could have wrecked it. Oh, the little, what is she watching? Frozen 2. Mm. It's not so bad. Can anyone hear the music? I think two photos. What's everyone thinking about two photos tonight? Um, hello, Bronnie. You'll have chickens by the time you find the eggs. Ah, uh, no, no rooster, Deborah. No rooster. No loud rooster here. Yeah, no. Yeah, no roosters. We're not allowed one. You know, we'll find them. I'm hoping that they haven't gone off the lay because of the dog with its cage against the back fence. I could move the chicken compound because the kids are in the kids, not the kids. The chickens are in a three meter. So they've got a hutch, a little hutch with a run in it and nest box and all that. That's inside a three meter by three meter dog compound. So they get, we lock them up in the dog compound at night to protect them. But then they free range during the day. But the new people over the back, that dog that was, rocking its cagey thing around in the middle of their yard last week they have now moved that cage up against the back fence that backs on to where the chooks are i couldn't we could move the um the chicken compound but which is a pain in the neck but the neighbors on the side complain when the chicken compounds on their side different complaints they reckon it smells it doesn't smell um she also reckons that it blocks her sunlight. But we like it because it blocks out their cigarettes. Right now. Sorry you're watching me fussy cut. Oh, Sister X on TV. Is it? Um no, no music. Oh Trish said Singapore Airport's awesome. I'm being a good girl tonight as I'm watching Six Direct on so <laughs> bless me. <laughs> it's way too big for us. And most of the shots were at the height, yeah. 
very dry, very hot, dry, hot in here. Yeah. I thought Singapore would have been like humid. I suppose it's winter, isn't it? It was dry here until this week. We've had rain this week. As a lot of Queensland has. We had a lot of rain all of a sudden. But yeah, a lot for this time of year. Although my mum talks about when she was a kid and July used to be quite wet when she was a kid. No, that was before she lost to mum. She was just telling me that. She's always said that. She always said that the July school holidays were wet. Well, July was wet when she was a kid. My mum was a kid back in the, like the 40s. <laughs> she was born in 1940. I love these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? Focus. I should just turn this light back on because we haven't got that. You can't see the ring. I turn it off because of the ring on the creative design board. Way too high class. <laughs> yeah. It is expensive to eat in an airport when you're stuck at an airport. Although sometimes you come across shops like the Lego shop at the airport is the same price as the Lego shop everywhere. So that's only, yeah, that's the only saving grace. We had about an inch getting desperate. Yeah, it's been very dry here too, Marie. But it's been very dry where you are. They are beautiful butterflies. I want to try and make more colours. I've made like the teal and the blue and the purple. They're pretty close in colour. But I want to try and see if I can make them pink. Because I think they might look good. Uh, if you're doing the Snow Princess virtual retreat in two weeks' time. So next weekend is um, the Gix 17 weekend, which we're warming up your winter with lots of creativity and fun stuff. Um, our classes. If yeah, and the weekend after is Snow Princess. So we'll be using Snow Princess on the Friday and Saturday that weekend. But um, if you're doing the Snow Princess virtual retreat, don't forget the extras are in there. I've got more extras to add this weekend when I get a chance. There's more um, colour cuts too that I just haven't got around to putting up. I was going to have another acrylic title for this weekend, for, for tonight's class, but didn't quite get it finished. Didn't quite get there. Oh, yeah, I had really hacked that one. I really like the butterflies. I love the butterflies. But, yeah, with Snow Princess, we've got Fussy Cut Essentials in not just in the purple, blue. The purple and blue are pretty close, but there is a little bit of contrast. The purple's more like a navy purple. Um, there's lots of colours of the Fussy Cut Essentials. More colours of the Fussy Cut Essentials in the flowers and the Fussy Cut Vellums. Rightio. So if we put, say, two square photos... Let's try and run with that. And let's see if we've got something to cut. Uh, Dee will be ordering more tomorrow. Karen's joined us. Karen H. Um, because the grandkids have been picked up. Cool. Um, not cool that they're not with you anymore, but. And then there's a. Butterflies are divine. Yeah, love, love, love the butterflies. Mm. Those dark purple 
What's that? No, I don't know. Are these purple flowers? No, no, the, 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 the blue ones. The teal one. Yeah, they're definitely out of paper five. Okay, so I'm going to cut some fake photos. So let's cut to four inch by four inch photos. Two squares. Four. Four. And then let's cut. Let's sort of neaten this up. Let's just neaten up a bit of paper. Because remember, I hand cut that out. So let's do four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Two of one. Let's get our design squared away and then what we'll do is we'll let's turn it off. So I know we've distressed that background, but I might not distress the photo mats because we didn't distress this in the very background. Sometimes I like to do that. So let's put one like here. Let's put the other one. I hope this is not like something I've already done. And the other one like here. Sort of with a little bit of an overlap. Let's probably put that down here. And then we're going to put in a bit of structure with our, you know, with our leaves. I like that butterfly there. That's a bit, a bit nifty. Oh, they can see we're taking a photo. Doesn't matter. the dark color there. That's a scrap. And then what we could probably do is put you know a little tiny bit of flower. Put this one down here. Put some little flower a little flowery clustery thing here. A bit of And a bit of a sort of something like that and then this right hook on one oh we don't have something for a title dearie me what are we going to do for a title let's not put that there
that there. What do we think? This one. Sorry, just trying to work out this whole thing. Uh, more Swan Princess extra tomorrow as I didn't get a chance to go through it all yet. Thank you. Yellow would be pretty. Hmm. I love fussy cutting. My hands don't, but I do. <laughs> Okay, we've got some of our dots. The next time oh. someone asks what the difference is between us, I'm going to point out fussy cutting. Why? Because I don't like using them. Like, Mammy's a bit rough with fussy cutting. She likes it when I fussy cut our retreat kit. But they're nice and neat then. I don't have patience. Mammy John doesn't. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mammy John has a patience. Mammy John doesn't. Amelia Ann is a mad keen fussy cutter. Yeah, ne Amelia and I just sit down. We will just sit down and watch a movie and just fussy cut together for hours. No. Something like that. What do we think? Are we going to be using the title today? Uh, well, what are we going to use as a title? Did we bring you home anything? Did he give me anything for a title? I don't think he grabbed a single thing for a title. This is, this is interesting. Have a look at what's in here. We could um, the old but goody use the title that's on the uh, piece of barcode. <laughs> Together. That was your... Oh, that's nice. There we go. <laughs> We've got a title. We've got a title. Oh, okay. So I color. think we need to put a little bit of colour on the background. I think some little dotty bits. And we're going to use a little bit of this cherry colour with a tiny, tiny touch of the blue pip. So we want like a bit here, maybe a touch there, and a bit up here and here. So let's move this. Apparently on Sunday, I'm going to get time to clean up my craft space. So the man who forgot to bring home stuff for a title. So. Yes, the man who didn't pack me anything for a title. Oh, are we going to use this? Or is this looking a little bit um, worse for wear? Um, with the John, I cut under Oh. <laughs> True. So I'm going to put a little bit of our blue purple just here and mostly our cherry just here. And we're going to sort of rock from one to the other. I remember um, when we used to do, when I used to do the retreats, like teach classes with mum and I had two separate kits and then we'd rock up the fussy something, I would do it in my art lectures. So then, you know, it was rough. It got down. Naomi did our fussy cutting for a retreat last year, and I said, Oh, maybe I'll do it from now on. Yeah. Because she's a little rough. She is a little rough. <laughs> and that's okay. Nothing even bothered I actually feel as if I got stitched up. 
that she kind of did that on purpose so that she wouldn't get asked to do our fussy cutting again. I'm not very I do good. feel I might have been stitched up there. I have reasons for being bad at fussy cutting. I've got bad coordination. <laughs> and I does not. How's that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just lightly just blend a little over them. So that's easier to do that technique of those sizing with the blending brush, isn't it? It's, it is. It's better to do it with a blending brush. Than yeah, if else. you want less, you, you really need to be. And I'm just blending over it a little. Like that. And if you're using two ink pads, it's really good because it helps you disguise the fact that you've already got 15 colours on your blending brush. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use one. So that one is Dotty. It's number 23. We've got something like 35 stencils now in our collection of stencils. And we do add each week. We do add each week. Naomi John's... Um, I think your class from this week's at work, isn't it? Yes, maybe. Oh, it might be on my desk. No, no, it's on my desk at work. Um, you know how the other week Amelia Ann came to me on a Friday night and said that her double sided tape was missing? We found it in her bedroom. It was on a dresser. Yeah. She had been crafting in her bedroom. Um, we also found 50,000 pencils in said bedroom. Okay, so let's have a look at this. There is writing on here, script writing. See, there's a bit of script. Um, Karen says don't get her started on the flowers of design. If she really wants to do the fussy cutting challenge. Which flowers? <laughs> You should go for the Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. You know that sheet of Easter eggs that you've got in the description if you're allergic to fussy cutting, this product is not for you? Yes, it does actually say that on the product description. It does say that if you're allergic to fussy cutting, this product is not for you. I just remember one turning around in her wheelchair as I was working from my room and I'm going, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks like death. Naomi does not like fussy cutting. They made me make them bigger. <laughs> yeah. I want them. You know those quarter inch fish? They were easy. I am. Um... You know, sometimes you just got to design something you want. Like this board. That's sideways. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to tell you that in the photo. Yeah, she'll be right. Rightio. Yeah. What do we think? I think it just looks just enough. And see, we've covered a lot of our, what we did with the blending brush and the stencil. We've covered a lot of it. But in doing that, we've sort of got it that it comes out naturally from behind the bits and bobs, behind the photos and that. Got an awful lot of mess here. I need to clean up. <laughs> She's trying to come out here and hide with me. I feel like I I feel torn whether I should distress these or not, but I, um, I think I might end up distressing them. I don't want to, but I think I might. So we're cutting the middle out of our photo mats because it's just valuable. Just distressing a scrap, just to. Yeah. 
I'm just going to distress this little corner here. That's going to be hidden. I'm going to distress the hidden corner. The corner we're going to hide. No, we're distressing. Let's distress our photo mats. This doesn't matter? Oh, the original photo doesn't have enough detail. No. Probably distress before you cut the metals out. Cut the metals out. I say that every time. No, I could make a short of you saying that 50 times. That We could make an hour long video. Did anyone see our story? Was it today? And yes. our short on YouTube today, which With the was filter. the shenanigans the other day. Oh my gosh, yes. The wrapping kits and... Yes making creative design boards um oh god they should be all grateful that i cut out the part where got, dad was dancing because that bit yeah. just it went i think i've time. got six more creative design boards to finish this weekend trying to get ahead with them um so Mel on YouTube said, it's absolutely amazing. We've also got Aileen. Oh, Aileen. Hello, Aileen. I'm so sorry. I've been missing everyone on YouTube. Hello, Aileen. Patty Thank you, Mel. She's taking a photo currently. Um, yeah. Hello, Margaret. You didn't tell me Margaret was there. It's windy and cold in Melbourne. I did. You were just very busy. Hello, Liz. Liz is over there and die. Apparently I'm there as well on YouTube. Um. <laughs> Teal looks beautiful with the timber. It does, doesn't it? I love being able to combine different collections. I love I love just combining different stuff. What would you like this kit to be called, by the way? Um, I've been watching of the classes and at that point I'm nearly yelling at the iPad, cut the middle out <laughs> uh, distress on something narrow. I always do it, don't I Karen? I always end up distressing it when it's really narrow. That's a great short idea. I'll make that into a short. What's that? Fifty classes of you going, this would have been better if we did this before we cut the middle out. Are you gonna go through every class and find where I've said that? It's every scrapbooking class for the last two months. <laughs> This is a four inch by four inch bakey photo. Oh, dear me. I say it a lot. Yes. Every time I distress. Exactly. I just have to look at the photo of the page. If there's distressing, it's a yeah. Mom, why is your um, thing really small? What small? My pencil? Because yeah. I started with it in 2020 and it was full length and I've, you know, it's, it's three and a bit years down the track and there's not much left. You might need a new one. Well, I can still write with it. I'll buy you a new one. No! <laughs> <laughs> your money. It's the principle that matters. <laughs> uh, Mom, She's just looking at me like I'm from another planet. <laughs> Mom, it's... going to use to buy that new pencil. <laughs> Mom, it's too, too, too small. When it gets super small and you can't write with it, <laughs> Joku coming to me that I haven't bought one. <laughs> no, hello, goodbye. Moment of the century. It's cold and rainy in Tassie, says Mel. There you go. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I love you. I have to buy you a new one. No, it's the principle. It's the principle. It, it, I'm going to keep using it until there's none left. Yeah, when there's none left, can you tell me that, the, that I need I to buy it? I think you stole a butterfly. Oh, this one. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash your hair? No, you didn't. Oh. We don't have conditioner. Look at this. Come and look at this, everyone. <laughs> look at the paint. Mm -hmm. Look this at the paint. My hair. My hair. Precious. It's an artwork of a museum. I'm actually feeling like go now, you're hiding. I actually oh, feel I like I'm going to have to um can I have my tape back please? What tape? My six mil tape you borrowed. Shit, okay. <laughs> Last week on Friday when you No, I gave it back. Go on. 
Um, I might have to actually cut the paint out of the hair. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> She's just, Naomi's just run off. Um, <laughs> it's a well-loved pencil, yep. Super glue me into another pencil. You know what, Pam? That sounds like a really good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to Q as a challenge. I'm gonna see if Q can do that for me. He's at Coles tonight. And Connor got called in early to Domino's. Poor kids had some car troubles, but he's getting there. I think he just appreciates having an uncle who's a mechanic. But we didn't appreciate that Quentin slept through the phone calls last night that the car was broken down around the corner. So. Okay. I'm loving this. Blah, blah, blah. So let's, so these are chippy strips. So they're one millimeter chipboard. And it's white chipboard. And we cut them and you get four half an inch wide, nine quarter of an inch wide, and eight eight inch wide in a pack. They're like four ninety five. And um there's something I designed because I wanted them. They're obviously they're environmentally friendly. Um and we cut so our laser machine Russell she cuts um via solar power we use we have solar energy our bill has actually gone down this month because it was up for some reason the last one but this one is a lot lower and we've added a laser machine to our arsenal so yes so there's no backings there's no um there's no plastic or foam because foam is very environmentally unfriendly to manufacture. Or well, the foam that's in foam tape. We'll say our foam stamps are many the foam we use, the special foam we use for our foam stamps. Let me show you one. The special foam we use is actually manufactured um, with the environment in mind. And it's actually mold and bacteria resistant, this foam. And um, it's made for longevity. And it's stuck to the acrylic plate um, with a pure acrylic um, adhesive that is acid resistant and um, non-toxic. And the foam we use, that black foam, is non-toxic. So um, won't cause allergies very specifically so that when Naomi, so when we manufacture them, it doesn't cause, it can't cause our skin allergies, but also when, like when we put them together, because we put everything together by hand, um, when Naomi uses the stamps, they won't, it won't inflame her allergies. Contact won't. So I just waffled on and got sidetracked. I was talking about... Um, I don't know. I talk too much. We were having a conversation for Amelia because they had three laughs in it, so I'm a little bit suspicious of what I'm going to walk into when I get back in. Oh, dear me. Well, as you can hear now, is Noah in the kitchen getting himself some frozen mango. He still eats his frozen mango. Are we doing a picnic tomorrow? Yes, we are doing a picnic with Grandma. Probably chicken nuggets, but still oh, a picnic. I'm for a week, but no. What's that? Okay. <laughs> what? No, that's not particularly healthy. <laughs> oh, it's this one that I'm not meant to stick on. I'm just trying to get it so that it's in the right way. Okay. Need those. I don't need that. So now we're going to stick this together. So what we do is move that over, put our creative design board there, and move our page to here. Bring your tippy strips. 
Um, Pam suggested super gluing another pencil to the end of it. I'm going to see if your dad can do it. That's principles. And then it's the principles. principles. <laughs> when good night, you yeah. get to the super glue bit and you go to sharpen, will the super glue in like affect the lead at the top? I don't know. Probably not. It's a yes. Uh, it's a beautiful glue. You do glue very well, says Margaret. I think that is about Amelia Ann's hair. It's blue and teal from our from her um, turtle she painted today. Oopsie. Rightio. So we're going to put this baby here, right? But we're going to cut. I'm just going to hack a bit out of it like that. But if we actually stick our photo mat on, Just using the um, wood lines as a guide. And I don't mind that this goes over and sort of peeks over the edge. Then let's stick our other photo on. Now this little butterfly, let's just roll the wings, roll them around a thing like that. We're just going to stick the middle in. Like this. I'm going to put some glue in the middle. This little butterfly sort of fell on the page around there. So let's get a more pokey tool that's seen better days. Down in the middle. Just hold the wings up like that. There we go. Okay, so down here we've got so we're gonna trim sort of here and here. I've actually used these bits off one of these pages on something else. I just love them. This one in here. And then we've got this little baby, little baby one. And we're going to stick it here. Just gonna hold it in place for a minute. Put it on the glue. So we've got our basic structure. I'm gonna put this butter, big butterfly. Some glue down the middle, just a little bit. Hold the middle down and then still hold our lid. I'm 
Okay. So the next thing we need to do is remember we when we built our, our sort of our structure, we used our leaves. I think we're a bit lower here than what we were originally. So let's put our leaves in. It's got one here and one here sort of thing. And then up here we had sort of we had a leaf here. Let's sort of have it come over the photo a little. And then we had a leaf here. And then down on this bit, sort of had a leaf here like that. Oh, we have another butterfly. We're a bit closer over on the edge here, I've noticed. Kind of stuck it on the wrong spot. It's okay. We do know it all fits. Let's put a bit of glue down the middle. Okay, and you used a packet of acrylic dots too. Yep. They're a dollar. How many did you get in the pack? 25. Mixed. Why? Oh. So let's stick the ones that are half flowers. Like this one is a weird upside down half flower. There. And then we had a. Let's make sure the pencil line goes underneath. We have a half flower there. A bit much glue, Alyssa. Deary, deary me. And up here, we have a bit of a part flower here. Oops. Oops, the daisos. Okay. So then I'm going to put a, a cream rose so here, flat. Gonna do a couple of flat pieces. That one flat. And then just gonna put this um tuck it under the leaf there, but we're gonna put that little bit there. That's too much glue. I need new glasses. Yes, my name is Alyssa and I need new glasses. Can relate. What's that? I can relate. You can relate. Maybe John needs new glasses too. We need them for months, but I'm living. Rightio. So we're going to put some chippy strip. Oh, that's so I've got two here that I've stuck together to make a double layer. And then I've got single layer. So let's put a single layer behind this big photo, big flower. And then this teal one, and put a single behind it. Actually, this purple one here. And then the teal one. And then these two little ones. I'm going to put a double layer behind them. Looks 
so double layer gives me two mil, single layer is one mil. So I can make some things higher than others. And then let's put our title together on, let's get a little eighth of an inch. So a skinny piece of eighth of an inch wide. There we go. So then we're going to put a cream flower over here. We're going to put it on a single layer. Let's just stick that straight on. Okay. Are you ready to here? Mark, put What's in the kit? Mamie John's making a kit for tonight. So we've got a full sheet of paper five. We've got a full sheet of paper three from Day to Remember the Paper Parks from Snow Princess, obviously. A clear sheet of the Runaway Princess Fussy Cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a packet of the acrylic dots. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the custom mini colour cut. Yeah. Which is um, all together $8.59. Okay. I'm going to put this little flower on a little piece of chicken strip. So what is it? Eight fifty nine. Eight fifty nine. Unless you're going to put a flare, then it'll be nine fifty nine. No. So we've got two pieces of pattern paper. Mm -hmm. Uh, crochet of fussy cuts, a custom color cut, and some and twenty five acrylic dots. Was it a half pack of custom color cuts? Yes. Wow. So what did I say? What did you say? Eight fifty nine. Oh, let's just do eight fifty, obviously. And oh my gosh, that is that's a bit of an awesome kit. Let's move this over. Let's do this one on. Wow. Wow's a woo. So let's get all the bits we've got here for this one. He's getting new glasses this weekend, being about 60 years old. Oh, wow. I'm not quite that long, but I do need glasses. Let's put some glue on here. So it's okay to like tuck the edge under and have the outer bit on foam like that. Okay. Ooh. This has ended up a bit weird. Okay, so let's get the bits for up here. So I'm going to put some 
put a double layer behind this teal one, turquoisey one. Then we've got our big butterfly. I'm going to put him on before we get too carried away. It goes there. Kind of. Um, Karen H. went through a stroll down memory lane of 2015 creations that you did look. Yeah. And she cannot get over um, how closely all of us kids look alike at ages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so 2015 I had, so this time in 2015 I had an almost one-year-old. We would have been um, around the time Noah turned nine and then we would have had, what, um... 14 and a half and 17 and a half. Yeah. Kind of lost our little circle here. It's okay. Cream flower and under here. It gets really bad when you walk into somewhere and you've just had your hair cut and then someone calls you a Lisa. Who did that? Remember Uncle Cole? Oh, yeah. Fish and chip shop. Mm. Mm. It's not like we look exactly the same as Tom. Okay. I'm covering up my little um circly bit. Have they seen your pom photos? No, I don't know if they've seen my pom photos. The big hair. The, the, the big hair. Damn shame you can't find them. Give me a minute. There we go. I've covered up the little circly thing. <laughs> Put a bit more glue here because we're going to need it soon. So we've got some leaves. Remember we cut some leaves from our um, fuzzy cut sheet? Need to show them prom photos. What the fact that you and I both wore the same colour purple? Well, I didn't influence you. I let you make your own decision, and then my hair wasn't as big as yours, but it was also curly, and we were like nearly the same height. Yeah. Same body structure. Like it was just very. It's scary. Yeah. Okay, so our dots. What we want on our dots is sort of a fairly even 
coat of Dimensional Magic or Glossy Accents on the back. And then put it on and just make sure it sits down nicely. So we don't have a bubble in it. Put it down. I love different. I love texture and it's different. Whoops. Not real good with the tweezers tonight, am I? Oh, bit much glue, bit much glue. And last one. Yes, they are. They are not live. They're not live because I, I don't know if I've got enough to put in kits. Because <laughs> they're, um, they're a bit of pretty. A no one else wants to do them. Oh. They feel that they're too kind to assuming. Noah refuses to do them. But Noah has just spent two days making templates like he has honestly spent two days peeling the backing off templates and packaging templates uh um, gee, how did Rissell cope Rissell is amazing Rissell is amazing these actually started off as a byproduct from something else but now they're going to be an actual thing and we're gonna have to cut an actual sheet of them. we're actually gonna have to cut sheets and sheets of them I reckon that'd be great to replace those domes that we had like a couple of years back because like they're just yeah these are nicer than domes these are nicer look at that so there's that bit I love this color combination I covered up the circle the circle's gone <laughs> didn't you like the circle well I had too much of it covered and you couldn't really see it except for the white edge so it's gone now oh, it's gone There we go. What do you think? I like it. I think it's nice and soft. Mm. It's interesting. I like it. Um, yeah, Russell does a lot of things. Russell's pretty good. Thank you. Very welcoming to look at. That's what it is. It's just a. I like it. I love. I think it's a lovely page. 
Thank you, Dee. So thank you, Dee and Jacqueline and Mary and Karen and Deborah and Marie and Beck and Pam and Karen and everyone. Dee and Michelle and everyone. So thank you all. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Joanne. So there we go. What did we say it was? $8.50. Yeah, $8.50 for a That kit is $8.50. Well, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone else sells kits for the same price we do, even if they only use the same amount of stuff. I just don't think, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they feel the need to charge more. I don't know. But yeah, so there we are. We will be back. Thank you, Re. Uh, thank you, Karen. And we will be back tomorrow morning with our weekly roundup. So as promised, we did use a piece of Snow Princess. We used number five. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about what's happening next weekend with the Geek 17. But we're doing a winter warm-up. I'm going to warm you all up, warm we up your creativity. The, um, schedule done by tomorrow morning. No, we won't. <laughs> um, if you're in the creative family group, that's where we'll put it first, the schedule. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Faina. But, um, yes, yeah, so um, it has crept up on us. We've got a lot on in July. Because um, next weekend is the four days. It's meant to be three days for gigs, but we're going to do four days. And then the weekend after is the Snow Princess virtual retreat. And then the weekend after that, we're actually thinking about doing something yeah a little different we're going to try doing something a little different to what we normally do um the sunday on the weekend after snow princess we are doing a mock-up for melbourne yes we do have to do a mock-up for um to know how much stock we need because we are nearly at the stage of going to melbourne so for paperific so we've got a big um, couple of weeks coming. But that's okay. Uh, love being busy. Love doing stuff. I think that's the best thing is, is keeping busy. I don't like to sit around. Thank you, Raquel. So um, take care. Stay safe. Thank you, Josie. Um, yes. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. I should turn my mat around the right way. And um, we will see you all tomorrow morning um for our weekly roundup and i don't think noah will be coming to weekly roundup apparently you don't think he liked doing it last week no i don't think he did oh karen wish she'd come to melbourne i oh, wish she could come to melbourne too Look, karen wish we were driving in the truck and we could pick you up on the way through um but yeah so thank you all for coming and we will see you um tomorrow morning take care thank you so much love you all and really appreciate you all Oh, thank you, um, Tina. I think it's Tina. Paper tin is Tina. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Yes, our kits are great. Thank you, Aileen. Amy John, what are you doing? Oh, it's just a ticket. Thank you, Di. Oh, Thanking everyone on YouTube now. Sorry, everyone. Right, I'll, I'll turn the ticker off then. So she's going to turn off the ticker. Awesome. So take care, stay safe, love you all, and um, we will see you um, soon. Bye.